Currently, if I have a $0 amount line on a recurring general journal and I try to post that journal, I will get an error message that the amount must have a value in line 25,000. It cannot be zero or empty. So what I would need to do to get this journal to post would be to filter out the $0 amount. And when I post, the system will only post the lines that are in the current filtered view. Now, when that view is not filtered anymore, I can see that my lines have repopulated, but the date on that line that I filtered out did not update based on the recurring frequency. In a new release version, I still have a $0 line, but we are now able to post the journal with that $0 line. And I can see I did not need to use any sort of filter to filter that out of the view. And that also means that all of the lines, including the $0 line in my recurring general journal, updated with the new posting date based on the recurring frequency. So if you ever steered away from using the recurring journals because sometimes you have those $0 lines in a given month, don't worry, because with the newest release, you can now post those $0 lines without any issue. Thank you, Microsoft.